I'm just gonna come right out and say that this is gonna be a very controversial video. All I ask is that you please watch to the end before you visit the comment section and thrash. I'm not here to push any opinion on anybody. I'm just here to tell you what happened. We're about to confront a scammer face to face in Kolkata, India. He has no idea that he's about to see us. He doesn't even know that we're in his country, but he knows who we are. And some of you watching may know of him as well. This is Monu. He's an ex-scammer, or some might say current scammer, who has repeatedly lied to us at Trilogy Media, duped us out of money, and harassed members of our squad for months by trying to solicit donations from them directly. After repeated lies from him and promises that he'll stop, it continued and continued and continued. For this video, we're in Kolkata, India, and we're gonna trick Monu into our hotel room, and then Art and I are gonna walk out of the bathroom and confront him, and you won't believe the look on his face. And make sure to watch to the end of this video to see something that's never happened to us before on this channel. Okay, so a lot of you watching right now are probably new subscribers and are not aware of Monu's story. But even if you are, I'm gonna give you all the juicy details and drama of everything that's happened since our last video about him. Before I do that, the sponsor of this video, Surfshark, gets a shout out and a massive thank you. They've sponsored countless videos of ours and are a huge reason why we can continue to travel the world creating content and exposing scammers. They're a VPN or a virtual private network that protects your personal data while you're surfing the web and hides your location and IP address while doing so. With cybercrime being more prominent than ever, everybody should be using a VPN on any device that connects to the internet. I never leave my house without my laptop, and we do a lot of traveling on this channel. I am always online and editing on the go, and Surfshark is protecting me 24-7. I've tried a bunch of different VPNs, but Surfshark is my favorite. It's incredibly affordable, easy to use, and gives you protection on an unlimited number of devices under one single subscription. Also, with Surfshark, you can change your virtual location anytime you want, which allows you to access content that might otherwise be geo-restricted to you. It also put me at ease when people were trying to find us and kill us in India. Just saying. Use our link in the description below and use promo code TRILOGY at checkout for a massive 83% discount with three extra months of service added on top of that for free. Use the link below and give it a try. Now we're about to confront Monu, but before things get heavy, let's take a look at how we got here. About a year ago, Art and I were scam baiting on a YouTube live stream, as we do, and we connected with Monu, who was working in a refund scam call center. If you stay on the phone right now, and you quit right now, after a deep conversation, we promised him that we would personally send him the money that he needed for his rent if he agreed to get up, quit his job, and walk out the door on the spot. Fuck all of you people, I quit. Which he did. Loud and clear. Fuck this place, I quit right now. He fucking did it! Oh my god! He followed up with us after on video chat. Yeah, I quite. I told them that I am not gonna work again, and I left. We paid him the money that we promised, and got to learn a lot more about his life and his dreams of being a dancer. About a month later, we heard from Monu again, but not in a good state. He was in pain from a serious leg infection, and desperate for money to pay for medical treatment. And here's where things started to get complicated. Over the several years that we've been doing this channel, we have helped several ex-scammers in the past. Now, we've talked to thousands of scammers over the years of doing this channel, and the vast majority of them are pretty heartless and vile, but not all of them. Some of them are like Marquisimo or Bante, who were very young men that needed to support their families and got duped into joining a call center that they thought at the time was legitimate. Finding out later that it's a scam, they're then stuck in this tight grip by these bosses who use manipulation, blackmail, or otherwise, to keep these guys in there for life. Everyone we've helped has a very different but equally fascinating story, but one thing has always remained the same for us. If a scammer truly wants to make a better life for themselves, we give them that chance. We don't assume anything, one way or the other, until they show us and prove to us that they're worthy of our trust. Or not. Monu told us that he needed $1,000 for his medical treatment including hospital visits and medication. Now at this point in the story, Monu had fulfilled all of his promises. He took a risk by trusting us, and he didn't give us any reason to not trust him. So we did. We asked our squad for some financial help for him, which is something that we only do when it's very, very important to us. We gave him the thousand dollars, he went to the hospital, and he got the treatment that he needed for his legs. This is the cream he gave me, and this is the syrup. However, after we uploaded that update video about him, there was a lot of skepticism about why his treatment cost so much. 
Now, I don't live in India, I don't know what treatment costs, so I asked Johnny to get the truth about Monu, something that I admittedly should have done way earlier on, but lesson learned. Johnny was able to connect with Monu and talk to him in Hindi and get the full truth. Now, his illness and his medical treatment were real, but he lied to us about the true cost. Apparently, he asked us for more money than he needed so that he could pay off some of his family's debts. And I was fucking furious. Angry and hurt that he not only lied to us, but used our sympathy against us to risk our reputation to our squad by asking them for help. Now, we did confront Monu about this via text, and despite his relentless apologies, all trust was lost. Now things started to heat up. Monu started to go behind our backs, asking squad members for money directly. He would watch our live streams, go into our Facebook group, and started messaging people directly, blatantly asking for money for his upcoming wedding, his dance studio dreams, or whatever other story he would tell. It didn't take us long to find out about this. So I made several posts warning people about his actions and immediately refunded any new donations that came to us on his behalf. But things didn't stop there. He continued to solicit donations from people, both in direct messages and on his Instagram stories on an account that he shamelessly created with our name in. He continued to push harder and harder to people directly, guilt tripping them, even making people feel bad when they would donate an amount that he deemed insufficient. I sent him countless messages telling him to stop, but the lies persisted and his ripple effect continued to widen. Now, I don't believe Monu is a bad person. He's very, very young, and he's got a lot to learn about social etiquette, trust, and keeping his word. I'm not saying any of this to make you all hate him, but I needed everybody watching this video to understand the position that we were in prior to confronting him in Kolkata. Take the facts and form your own opinion. But while we were in Kolkata, this happened. Hey, buddy. Come on in. What's up? What's going on, miss? <laughs> so this is the, our tour guide. Hey. He's gonna help us. It's good to meet you, man. There is he. <laughs> oh, you got a Hello, man. Oh, you get bit by a dog? What, what happened? <laughs> Come here. Uh, Come have a seat, man. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, life is crazy. What's up? Do you know who I am? <laughs> Do you it's know who we are? Nobody has to harm you. Just maybe friendly. not yet friendly thing. What's up? <laughs> He's... What's up? Do you know why we are here? They right want now to in your country, they wanted to in your city? They wanted to meet you. For you, for you. They came here for you. Well, I'll give you a hug, but we have a lot to talk about. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Hmm? Why are you emotional right now? Why are you emotional right now? Have a seat. Have sit, a seat. Sit, it's okay. Sit, it's okay. We're not here to do anything. Yeah. Have a seat. Okay. Bueno. Have a seat. <laughs> so he, he told me in the car, uh, he could not tell you guys exactly uh, what he wanted to tell you because because he, he can't speak English very well. Okay. So there, he wanted to Can tell you, you yeah, he wanted to tell you a lot of things, okay. but it's because of the language problem. He don't but you speak know the same English. Yeah, I can speak, okay. I can, I can translate that. Mona, look at me. It's okay, Mona. It's okay. It's all right. No one's hurting you. So they, they just, wanted to meet you. I just want to talk. They, they, they wanted to meet you. They came yeah. here for you. Yeah. Is his hand, his hand is, it's, it's hurt. It, no, 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 don't touch this, this hand. Why? Because he's, it's broken. You okay? Is it hurt? Yeah, that's her. She's Look at me. This, this Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Talk to me. Why are you crying? She's really happy. Happy? Why are you happy? Talk to me. It's okay. It's okay. 
It's all, all good. Everything's fine. It's okay. Take your time. It's all good. Yeah. You need water? All good. How you been? Talk. Not too good. And why it's not good? You can talk. Well, anybody. It's okay, take your time. You said I can't speak any. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. These are... These are your friends, right? We're not here with anger. We're yeah. not here with hatred. Mm -hmm. We're not here to do anything. Mm -hmm. We just have some questions. We just want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah right. Human to human. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. We're just going to talk. And you're gonna go home, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. But we just wanna meet you. <laughs> you don't wanna say anything? What's that? He said, I wanna speak, but I can't speak. Okay. Whatever English it is, I'll help you to translate it. Okay. I never dream about this. <laughs> but Mona. I I thought that I lost you guys. You did. You did. <laughs> you did. You did. You did lose us. <laughs> and you know why exactly? Because you did some shit, Mona. You heard us. I know, bro. I did miss it. You broke my trust. I trusted you. I really don't know what to do on that time. Just because I can't speak more English. So whatever, whatever, whatever you did, whatever is is your problem, you can tell them they're your friends. It's okay. Right. All of your problems, if there is a communication problem, we, you, do, you you couldn't talk them through the chat. But right now they're here. Okay. You can speak. You can tell them everything. Do you know, Mono, <clears throat> that? We very independent, me and Ashton, we don't like to ask, you know. When it's time for money, help, I go to him, he come to me. He's my family, I'm his family. We very rare ask for help, very rare. And we did that for few people that we love, respect, and we trust it. Johnny is here that we love unconditionally, you are here, and few more people. People take our word and they go and help. We put our reputation as a trilogy media for you. What did you do with that? How did you use that help? Did you fuck us over? Did you backstab us? What did you do with the help that we did for you and for your family? How did you use that help? With respect, integrity, or you just take that and put it in the trash. Explain how did you use it? Tumne matlab jo bhi kiya, wo galat tha. You know that, right? All that all was wrong. But why did you do that? हम आपको बता रहे हैं कि भाई हम प्रॉब्लम उस टाइम ये था कि हमको समझ में नहीं आता हम क्या बोलेंगे. English में हमको सही से जितना आप बोलते हम समझते हैं ठीक लेकिन सही से English बोल नहीं पाते ठीक है और जब हम भाई से पैसा लिए थे हमको पैसा ले पहले बात नहीं तो पहले हम भाई से बात ही कर देते अच्छे से दस हज़ार खर्चा हुआ पूरा ट्रीटमेंट में उसके बाद जो सत्तर हज़ार बचा था वो पैसा हम अपने पापा का जो कर्जा था वो कर्जा में दे दिया He just used ten thousand rupees for the for treatment. treatment. We understand. And the rest of the money he paid his father's debt. Debt. Okay. And हमको मेन बात जब हम पैसा मांगे थे तो हमको उस टाइम में सही से पता नहीं था हमको लगा था कि हजार डॉलर से ज़्यादा खर्चा हो सकता है तो इसीलिए भाई जब हमसे पूछे थे कि कितना लगेगा तो हम भाई को एक तो अमाउंट सोच के बोला कि हाँ हज़ार डॉलर से खर्चा हो सकता है क्योंकि जो भी देख रहा था मैंने बोला इन्फेक्शन हो गया है तुमको पॉइजन हो जाएगा तुम मर जाएगा तुम सर काट देगा when i got this infection so me said 1000 dollar bole the i didn't know how much it was going to cost the treatment so i asked my brother he said 
it's it's gonna maybe it's the, something like it's gonna we might have to cut your leg or whatever it is it's a, maybe a serious infection so I just asked for a thousand dollar proxima but that's a lie you're lying to me right yeah because... you're lying to me right now Abhi, tum jhoot bol rahe ho. why 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 how is he lying you told me that you were being deceptive and you asked for more because your dad had debts your father had debts you told me that you told him that to waise the debit the main problem the ke by infection ka hua tha hum bhai ko yahi soch ke bole ki infection zyada lag sakta lekin jab hum dekhe kyunki mujhe apne papa ka debt padna tha aur maine jhoot bola tumne accept kiya ha main accept karta hu kyunki bhai humko english samjha nahi sakte hum kaise samjhayenge hum jitna ro bata sake hum utna hi ro bataye uske baad bhai ne jab pucha tab bhai ko explain bhi karna chaha ki dekhiye bhai mera papa karta tha isliye hum aapko explain nahi kar pa rahe the kuch bhi achanak se mera papa karta tha bhi humko तो क्या हमको भी ये नहीं पता ही नहीं था तो अब जो पैसा था मेरे पापा लोग उस टाइम देखे कि हाँ ये पैसा है इस पैसा को अभी अगर कर्जा नोच रहा है पैसा है यहाँ पे तो इसीलिए देख के उनको चुप करा देता कि कुछ दिन तक वो लोग चुप करें हम लोग को बहुत प्रॉब्लम little bit nervous or whatever I, of course but yeah he he lied you, you accept the lie right he just lied again we have jhoot bole kyunki bhai humko samajh mein nahi aa raha hum ye bole to maine tumne abhi phir se jhoot bol diya abhi maine kya jhoot tumne ye jhoot bola ki tumne tumko pata nahi tha ki treatment okay so he's saying i didn't know how much was for the treatment okay but i had to pay the debt as well so i thought i should make it a thousand dollar okay and maybe put it in treatment and all yeah but jhoot nahi bole bhai hum kuch separate problem let's put this on the side let's put that Mm-hmm. over here. Okay. I asked you many times. Usne tumse bahut baar pucha to stop asking squad for money. Keep squad ko paise mat mango. This is from one person. One person. Ek bande se hai jisne jisko tumne paise mange hai. 2 weeks ago. Do week pehle got upset with me for donating during the stream and not donating anything to him to ye bol rahi hai ki got upset with me for donating during the stream for arts punishment and not donating anything to him ki tum kisi squad member se upset ho gaye ki tumne art ko stream pe punishment ke liye donate kiya lekin tumne usne tumko donate nahi kiya i can show you a screenshot you circle अच्छा हाँ इसको सर्कल डोनेशन हम इससे बात किए ये हम ज्यादा नहीं चाहते थोड़ा सा मेरा हो जाता है यहाँ पे तीन हजार चार हजार में मेरा खर्चा हो जाता है यहाँ पे तो रमजान भी चल रहे हम उनको बोले थे she asked him if you need any help in the future just ask me but huh. but but she oh, said you oh, oh, have some funeral going on okay and he saw this donation on your chat and he marked it and asked for you to send them because fir hum se puche the ki ha agar aisa hua to if it's possible you can send me that's what he say you speak english speak english you speak Talk english to me. just a little bit don't bullshit me yeah okay you understand what i'm saying yeah where you don't understand few words i'll explain that but you, you can speak little bit english yeah. right I understand, but I can't keep. Who gave you this power to watch our channel and blaming our fans for not earning money? Who are you? Mon, I think you know. I I respected you even. I told you in the car that you don't have any business. I pay you to set up a small business. I promise you, right? And I'm gonna do that. But I think this is really wrong. That someone is donating them, <clears throat> and you asking them. Why are you donating them, and why are you not donating them? Me? It's their choice, who they want to donate. And here's the more important part: it's okay to ask for help, mm-hmm. but after I helped you with medical bills, I asked you to stop asking Squad for money, and you ask Squad for money every day. You open- why? Why you open Instagram account? and you associated our company with your name who give you that permission are you true media 
You open Instagram account. He's Trilogy Media. You're not. You're not. It's okay. Why? Because you did wrong, right? I was, you know, when I started with them, I was just like you. हम Instagram ID बनाए थे इसलिए क्योंकि हमको लगा कि हम भी It's not about Instagram. It's not about Instagram. I'm saying how you build your reputation, how you uh, make relations, right? It's not about money all the time. I know you need you needed help. You have family. You don't have work. I know how it it is here, but I think. I have no problems with whatever you ask money for, but I think this is wrong. Someone sending donation to them, then you asking them why did you send donation to him? Why didn't you send it to me? I think this is wrong. And more important, that you promised me that you would stop, and you kept doing it over and over and over again. I can't trust you. You messed that up. He, you know what? Uh, they wanted to work. You know. We I wanted was like, to. Hey, they wanted to. Have they wanted to come to your wedding. wedding, but it's slowly. We wanted right? to come to your wedding. We want to come to your wedding. Mm -hmm. we wanna I don't want to see you. your tears, Monu. I don't want to see these fucking tears right now, because you're a man, and living here in India, you provide for the family. Yeah. But taking people generosity from ten people that we help in the whole true Jimmy life, you're the only one who fucked up. You man, you have balls, you provide for your family, and you decided to take advantage of us and put our reputation that we work so fucking hard to earn that reputation used against people who fed you. We pay for your fucking medical bills, we pay for your father dead, and you came and you fuck us up. And we told you stop two times, three times, five times, and you just start going again, like towards people who supports us. You made people who love us and support uncomfortable. Some people left Trilogy Media because of you. They don't support us because of you. Yeah. Because... And you didn't stop. Two weeks ago? Are you fucking kidding me? It's been one year. We put your video down. You have no rights. Zero rights to go. It's okay. You know, something happened with him, me. All right, we will handle it. But you go after people who are helping us to pay rent and blaming them why they supporting us and not supporting you. And so far, I heard zero explanation and thousand sixty nine thousand excuses. And you better change because I don't have fucking time for you. Mono, Mono, it's it's okay, right? You can't, you don't have to make excuses right now because you know you did wrong, right? So maybe you can. Um, कुछ नहीं बता सकते भाई तो इसने बोलने को माफ कर दी मेरे पास कोई बात नहीं है इसे आई कैन स्पीक इसे जस्ट आई एम सॉरी माफ आई सेइ दिस मेरा गलती हो गई आज इससे इट्स ओके बोल हम बहुत गल बहुत ज्यादा ना तुमको मैं तुमको एक बात बताता हूं काम से छोड़ के ना भाई ये बात ये ये अमेरिका से तुमसे यहां पे मिलने के लिए आए अब तुम कम से कम इनको कुछ यू ओ देम एट लीस्ट एन एक्सप्लेनेशन राइट So explain that. That's all. All they want. And be honest. Because they have... I don't want to hear excuses. Yeah. Just be honest. Yeah. Hey guys, I want to take advantage. I, I, I. You guys are the only one that can help me. I decided to do this. I need to know why. I'm going to come. Need me. Let me. I'm part time job. Got it. Where was I? I'm going to a little bit. I was there. My house. Plane. Got it. Got it. I'm going to pay. It was a thousand dollars. I got it. I'm bill bill. Like eight thousand, nine thousand. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. मेरा भाई काम करते है कपड़ा दुकान में छः हज़ार रुपये कमाता है मेरा भाई छोटा भाई काम करता है वो चार हज़ार रुपये कमाता है बैग का हम लोग सब मिला मिला के चलते हैं हमको कोई काम नहीं दे रहा हम कहीं भी जा रहे एक दिन काम कर आधे दिन काम कर पैसे दे रहा भगा दे रहा जिसका पास भी जा रहे कोरोना हो गया काम का सबका भीतर हो गया किसी का काम नहीं चल रहा एक नंबर जो भी काम कर रहा है सिर्फ कॉल सेंटर वाला ही लोग कमा रहे हैं जो लोग कॉल सेंटर चला रहे हैं लोग ही पैसा उड़ा रहे हैं हम लोग जितना एक नंबर काम है मैंने तो उसमें कोई काम ले रहा नहीं कहेगी काम है नहीं काम कर रहा है तो पैसा क्यों लगा कंपनी जो हम इसलिए सोचा कि कोई ना कोई इसलिए बस एटी डॉलर टू पीपल वर्किंग ही इज नॉट गेटिंग एनी वर्क ओके एटी डॉलर हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी मेंबर्स आर इन योर फैमिली मेरा पांच भाई चार बहन है मेरा बड़ा भाई फाइव ब्रदर्स फोर सिस्टर्स वन मॉम वन डैड मेरा बीवी मेरा भाई का बच्चा एंड हर वाइफ एस वेल एंड दे हैव एटी डॉलर दैट्स द इनकम ऑफ एवरी मंथ एंड ही इज नॉट गेटिंग वर्क नो वन इज गिविंग हिम अ जॉब And that's the only reason. हम कोई ऐसा बात नहीं है हम काम कर रहे हैं. Speak to him. 
I keep try to find job. I, I'm joining every time, but they only give me work for one day and then they give me money and they tell me not Go. to come again because they have they doesn't have a lot of work. Only people who doing call center here, they are only earning money. But whatever people doing genuine job, they can't earn money because of the problem which going on past couple of years, the corona. That's why people can't hire anyone. They don't want to hire because they can't pay. If we work, they will hold us for one month, two months, then they will pay us, but not proper money. That's the reason I don't understand what should I do. I only have hope with your squad. That's why I, I got some few people and the, the, uh, the lady Tafi, she already talked to me. She always told me that Monu, you are my brother. Whenever you need any help, don't need to shy. You can ask me. I'll, I'll help you whatever I can. So I never ask her a lot of money. I only, whenever I, I ask her before, only about $50 because I want to buy a cloth for my mother because she had birthday. I never buy her anything. So I asked her just $50 so I can buy her cloth, her sari. That's the main reason I keep asking because I don't have any home, any help. Whenever I go to any work, they can't hire us. They're the kick us off. Mono, how old are you? I'm 21 now. Do you know that yesterday we went to a town that is 200 kilometers away from Bangladesh, almost on the border, okay? So we went to that town yesterday. We spent almost two hours, one hour, 30 minutes, one hour, 35 minutes drive. You know what I told everybody in the car when we drove over there? How people work on a field, plantation, agriculture, what did they ask? Where did people get money to open those little businesses? Top rate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? They, yeah, it's, it's just a small, I think, small investment. When people like want to find a job... They find it. They find it. So, no your experience. excuses about that you work mm -hmm. one day, they give you money and let you leave, maybe because you're lazy, maybe because you're not a hardworking person, maybe because you're cocky, maybe you don't treat people with respect. When you're doing something right, you stay long. Why this guy been with us for 10 years? Why every single person with us long term? Because they're doing an amazing job. They love what they do. They're passionate about it. And guess what? You don't want to lose those people. You're right. Let me add to that. This needs to be a huge lesson for you. Because we were ready to help you. Oh my God. For a long time. You had a golden ticket. You had a lottery ticket in your hand. I don't know what it's like to live how you live. I'm not saying that you have it easy. I know you have it way harder than me. But what I can say is that trust goes way further than anything else. You should have earned our trust and you broke that. So I'm going to tell you this. You can do one of two things. You can spend the next several months earning our trust again, again, and we can help you. You're a good person. I don't think you're a bad person. You can earn our trust again, okay? Or you can continue doing what you're doing. We might live on the other side of the planet, but we can get here in 24 hours. And if I have to come back here again and do this, this is going to be a very different conversation. Do you understand? I promise I would do Do I have your word? Thank you. Mono, everything that he said, I will add only one thing. To earn the trust, I want that you will apologize to every single person that you made uncomfortable, you ask for money, and you send and annoy the shit out of them. I want that you will go through every single message on Instagram, Facebook, and your emails. And you will CC Trilogy Media and tell them how apologize you are for your behavior. And this is the number one step to start getting your trust back. Can you do this? Yes. All right, I'll make you, I'll make you a deal here right now. 
not about creative media, it's a personal thing. Okay. I'll not give you money. But I'll buy a topic for you. Okay? You start you buy, buy business? No. I buy him a topic. A storefront. I buy him a topic. Tapri, you know? You know Tapri? It's a Keep, it's a kind of shop, but it's on a road. Okay. It's okay. a tapri where it's like popcorn when you push okay. and you okay. sell. Okay. 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 Just small beverages. adjustment. Small advancement. I will not pay you money because I really don't trust you. Right? But I will buy you a tapri. I'll buy you a stock, whatever stock you need in it. Okay? You make, you can boil eggs, sell it like other people sell. You sell cigarettes. Uh, whatever you want to do. You sell whatever you want. Okay? You can sell different things on it. Right? And I promise you that I, I do it before I leave Kolkata. Is that good? You happy about it? You can, you know, it's not something that if you want to build a business, you have to start from scratch. It's not like you're going to get a big restaurant or something. Then you can start. You can start from a small thing. Okay. Save some money. Slowly, slowly. Okay. Feed your family. Then when you have some money in your hand, you go for a little bit build bigger business. Then you take money from that, then you make it little, small, slowly, slowly, you make it bigger. Right? You're gonna do that? Okay. Yeah. I'll help you with that. That's my promise. Realize how awesome that is? Okay. I didn't ask That's you amazing. to do that. Okay. So you so you don't have to find a job, you don't have to go or ask someone to give me a job. You can create your own job and you should be proud of that. You are boss of your For yourself. own shop, right? right? Nobody told you what Nobody to do. Nobody told you do this, do this. It's your your top read, right? And if you can do you want. communicate with us and show us that we can trust you again, mm -hmm. one day we can help more. One, one year from now, this might be a totally different situation. I want to see you apologize to people that you heard. I don't need to apologize <coughs> from you to me or to Ashton. You want to say to apologize to him, please do it. For me, I don't give a shit. What I give a shit of people that you heard who made me who I am today and who support my company, our company. Well said. That's all I want. Okay. If you can make that happen, we good. We good. Okay, you friends again. Good friends. Okay. All right? And I'm, we're leaving here from, on Sunday. I'll do that before Sunday. Okay, that's my word. All good? Okay, great. Anything else? I just wanna say, Please forgive me, Ashton, whether I sorry that I broke your trust. I want to apologize to all three large media squad members. Please forgive me for my bad behavior. I really can't explain how much I feel shame. I feel guilty about this. I, I understand that I am doing wrong. Please forgive me about this. I, I, I don't have a lot of words and I really don't understand what to say. Just, I just want to say, all of you, please forgive me for everything, whatever I did. Please apologize. I just want to say apologize. I will prove you everyone. I will surely do what my brother said. I'll do hard. I'll do very hard myself. Please forgive me, everyone. It's Please. okay. It's they, they're not... That's all I want so, to hear. You're already forgiven. <laughs> you're already okay. forgiven. Just okay. earn it. That's all. Okay. You don't have to beg. It's all right. Just show us. That's all. It's all right. Your uh, action mm -hmm. speak louder than your words. Yeah. Right. Okay. This apologize when for people that we love and it's squad that we adore and we're grateful right. for. And next time when we're going to see you, yeah. I really hope it's going to be... We're going to come to your place, to your own business, and we're going to buy a few things from you. Make sure you have some cold beverages. <laughs> yeah, because there's a bit like <laughs> that. <laughs> it's all good. Good? Okay. good. All, all right. No more tears. It's all good. It's all good. Me. All right. Now you deserve a hug. Come here. <laughs> now I can give you a hug. Yeah. Everything is okay. Do the right things. You got this, all right? You're so young. Yeah, you have all life ahead of you. You can fix everything.
okay? Exactly. You got this, all right? Look at you. You fucking awesome dancer. You you good, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah Just, I watched his videos yesterday. Yeah, he's he's fucking amazing. Awesome dancer. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. All it's right? all good. Okay. 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 Good. All good. It's all good. You can do this, okay? Yeah. Right. You can do this. Right. Yeah, we're waiting outside. Huh? Okay. You can do this. All right. You understand? Yeah. You can do this. Yeah. You're, you're good. You're yeah. so yeah. good. Yeah. All right. You can do this. Well, and that's a problem that right? he's so fucking talented, and no. you have everything what to be successful. You have you just everything. Just need to stick on the right path. You just stop okay. doing these. Stay focused, and just you know. And I we get are it. here to help you, if we can trust you. That's all. I'll just set it up, okay? We'll be there. Yes. Okay? All right. I'll move. So we're gonna see you next time in better conditions, okay? Let's go. Let's go. It's simple. Yeah. This is in your ass. Let's go. I'll go. How many times did you fuck up at age 21, Ashley. Because I did a lot. I fucked up a lot of times in my life. And if people, friends, family, my neighbors, would not give me second choice in my life, I would not be here. I, I don't, I, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't physically handle all the emotions of the last 72 hours. I can't. Yes, you can. I can't.
Now we had to get out of there quickly. There were two guys on motorcycles that came up and saw us and then stopped at the side of the road just up ahead and continued to watch us. Now they could have just been innocent bystanders, but we were technically still in hiding from the death threats received from our glitter bomb video. And we took a risk leaving the hotel just this once to see this through and fulfill our final promise to Monu. That's what's supposed to be for the camera. I feel like I'm in Skyfall, you know, or some kind of James Bond movie. <laughs> hey, now, go, go, get it. Oh, oh, oh. I told you. What did I tell you? That was, that was great. We truly do want the best for Monu, and we hope that he takes this opportunity to heart and makes the most of it. I believe in second chances, or seventh chances sometimes. But we've done what we can, and now it's his turn to step up. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Annoying YouTuber plug incoming, shameless yet still effective in helping us to grow the channel. So please leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe, notifications, just do it all. It helps, seriously, it helps a lot. If you want even more Trilogy Media, please consider checking out our very own streaming platform called Trilogy Plus. TrilogyPlus.com, or you can find it in the App Store. Google Play Store, Amazon Fire, Roku, all that good stuff. We have a bunch of exclusive content on there. An extended two hour version of the Glitter Bomb video just dropped. So much exclusive content and it supports the crap out of us. And you can try it for a week for free for no obligation. So check it out, TrilogyPlus.com. Love you so much and we'll catch you in the next one.